In 2016, we started with a transformational leadership program for our top 100 Ronstadt leaders live at London Business School. And based on that learning experience and positive feedback of our participants, our CEO decided to invest heavily in the ambition to become a more global organization and to strengthen our global market position. We thought about creating this program, uh, well, for a few reasons, of course. The first one was um, to really get everybody on the same page, what's happening around us. Uh, and we were, of course, were already working on our digital strategy, but for everybody to be on board what we were creating. If we don't do something today, we might be too late in future. But that was the first part of it. It was making sure that you create that new mindset, a new mindset with people where they would be realizing that the world is changing, but also that they would be open to apply new ways of working, doing things differently. We're gonna go back to what makes us successful and we're gonna bolt on in a more global fashion, digital tech to make it quicker, to make it more client-friendly, talent-friendly. And everybody was, okay, yeah, well, actually can't do this alone. This is tough. Based on that decision, we have co-created a virtual learning journey for our global top 2000 Randstad leaders as a cascade of the transformational leadership program called Leading Transformation in the Digital Age, LTDA. We were exposed to a number of concepts, but one that really sticks with me, and certainly even to this day here in Japan, I'm applying it with my leadership team and in our organization. And that is this notion of freedom in the frame. Dan Cable's idea that the role of a leader is to create a frame for each and every member of the team where they can move freely and become the best version of themselves to experiment, to try, to fall down, to learn, to get back up. And that's where the muscles of leadership are built. What you saw was a lot of inspiration on, oh, wow, oh, we can do, we can really, uh, you know, reinvent ourselves. And yeah, maybe some people before we started uh, didn't feel empowered to do that. Uh, and the whole experimentation. Uh, yeah. What I always say is I burned most money for the company in, in failed ventures. Uh, and I do that explicitly to create sort of a safe environment because, you know, better burn a lot of money in failed experiments than not experimenting at all. And, and, you know, that's worse. From a learning perspective, I'm a strong believer of learning in the flow of work. London Business School helped us with creating a common language in learning in the flow of our digital transformation and even digital acceleration. A large part result of that 2021 was one of the best financial years that the Ronstadt SourceRight organization has experienced. The engagement scores of the organization went from um, an 8.1 out of 10 to an 8.3. And driving some of that increase was the strategy component. One of the drivers of engagement is you feel connected to the strategy and leadership is doing a good job communicating the strategy and the vision of the organization. So our fit to win strategy, which was designed in a new way as a result, direct result of the leadership team going through LTDA, the impact that it had on the financial results and the engagement of the organization um, were stunning. From a financial perspective, I would like to emphasize three proof points. Is it a coincidence that we are number one in the staffing industry and global market leader since 2020? Is it a coincidence that we celebrated recently our top uh, line performance of 24 billion euro as our best financial year ever? I am convinced that the development programs of London Business School had a major impact in that. And last but not least, the third proof point is that we have become a more human-centered company based on one of the experiments in the TLP program. There was one team in Belgium who started with a customer delight program. So we had a number of specific missions, I won't call them projects, that were born out of the TLP. One of those was to reduce our reliance on job boards. It's one of the biggest risks we carry at Randstad. We over rely on paid for sources of talent. And so we came up with some very specific initiatives aimed at moving the needle in the opposite direction. And I must say, the outcomes have been pretty impressive. We're proud, but we're not satisfied. And the value of conversations with clients has elevated. Our win rates have increased, our client retention rates have increased, and our organization feels more ready to have those value-driven value conversations 
as a result of focus and clarity that emerges from the LTDA programs. I do think uh, people have more self-confidence because they went through this journey and they know what we can bring to the table. It has made a, a real impact and a difference for us. It was truly transformative for me. I think I grew a lot as a person and also as a leader as a result of the program. And it also inspired me to write my own book, directly a result of the experience at London Business School.